So I've already got Etsy pulled up right here and I'm gonna show you guys kind of some examples of some email signatures. So up in the top search bar, we're gonna type in email signature template. You can sell templates that are pre-made as in taking custom orders for email signature template or for email signatures, or you can do the email signature templates. I do have a video, I will link it up top about how to create and share editable templates on Canva. So make sure to take a look at that if you have no idea how to do the templates. But for this video, we are going to, um, we're gonna do, we're gonna make one and then upload it into our, into my Gmail. Let's see, I took a look at this one last night. So this one is a bestseller. We're gonna take a look at this. And here's an email signature. This is such a clean, pretty email signature. Now the one I make in this video is gonna be the first time I've ever made an email signature. So it's most likely not gonna look like this, but it'll give you an idea of what to do to make one. And like I said, I'll go ahead and show you how to upload this into Canva. As you can see, edit in Canva. Um, this is just a really pretty, um, a really pretty listing photo. Whoever Mac Macarons and Mimosas is, um, this is a really pretty picture. So if you're watching this or you know who this is, um, make sure to give them a pat on the back because they've done good. But back to <laughs> back to this video before I get too carried away, we're gonna go ahead and go over to Canva. I've already got it pulled up in a tab. And what we're going to do, instead of creating a design from scratch, since I don't know what size an email signature is, we're just going to search in this bar right here and type in email signature. And here we go. So we typed in email signature, we hit email signature, and there are currently 312 templates that you can pick from on Canva. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go with create a blank email signature. Now, if you're just using this for you and you're not trying to sell this online or create templates um, to sell on like Etsy or whatever, then feel free to use any of these. Canva actually has a really good amount of templates and designs to use um, or to go by, so. There are some nice ones, but we'll go back over here to the untitled design. And the first thing we're gonna do, if we wanna make one that looks similar to this, we need our headshot somewhere. So this is a really pretty picture, but your picture might not look like that. You may not have a headshot that looks that good. So we will go and we will do something a little different. So we're gonna create a grid and then put our picture inside the grid and I will show you how to do that. So we will go over here to, let's go over here to elements. And if you scroll down a little bit, we've got frames, not grids. So we're gonna click this frame right here. And these frames have like the rolling hills and the clouds in the background. What you can do is you can go to uploads. I'm just gonna pick this random picture and you can drag and drop your picture into there. You can do it with any of these pictures. So you can do it with that, you can do it with a city background. Um, but for this one, I actually think this is pretty good. Now, if your picture is not uploaded into Canva already, you can go to Finder and you can go to Let's see, I think I've got it on my desktop somewhere. There's a picture that I always use and it's somewhere on here. Okay, here we go, this is it. So if you need to upload your picture, you can always hit upload media right here and it'll take you to this and then you just select whatever picture. But I just tend to drag and drop it. So I'm gonna highlight it and then I'm gonna drag it and drop it. And when it comes back up, well, you're going to drag and drop it into the frame. 
and I don't want my husband in this picture. Love him very much, but it's just gonna be a picture of me. So if you need to change this picture around or like crop something of it out, you can double tap on it and you can make it a little bigger and drag it around a little bit more and drag it some more until you get the picture that you want. So that looks good. So now you can hit done or enter and ta-da, there we go. So now what we're going to do, um, let's see. So now what we're gonna do is type the name. So if you want a, if you want like a multicolored email signature like this, you can add like a square. So this part is white, so you would just need to add a square and change it to this like um, to this like pinkish beige color. So we're gonna go to elements and you can type in square or on your keyboard, you can just hit R and a rectangle pops up and you can move it around. So we're going to, we're gonna move it to where it kind of looks like this. And I don't like that dark blue at all. Um, another thing, as you can obviously see this, dark color is on t is like covering part of my face and part of this picture. So we're going to move it backwards. So you're going to highlight this box position backward and now we're good. But I don't like this dark color so I'm just going to use I'm going to use this pink color. I think that looks nice. So, uh, let me, let me think for a second. Okay. So we need to add some text. So I'm going to add my name. I'm just going to add my YouTube name. So another quick shortcut on the keyboard is to just hit the letter T and a text box will pop up. And from here you can change the font. I usually use Oswald. You can use whatever font you want to. Um, you can type up here. If you wanted to use like a pretty script font, you could put um, handwriting or once you started typing, these little boxes pop up and show you the different types of fonts. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with Oswald and I'm going to type in doing digital with and then I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to change this to Megan, but I'm going to change the font to something else. So now we've got our text. I'm actually going to make this slightly bigger. And I'm going to highlight these two boxes and drag the corners out to make both boxes bigger at the same time. And then I'm gonna change it to some of my brand colors. I'm not gonna go into brand colors for, um, not gonna go into brand colors right now in this video, but this is how, this is how you see the brand colors. So I'm gonna change this to pink and then I'm gonna change this to blue. I think that looks pretty cute. Obviously it's not as clean and professional as this, but um, let's see. So I think that looks nice. Another thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm going to lock this, uh, this like off white box so that you can't drag it around. So even if I tried to drag it around now, I couldn't. Now I could drag around the text right here, but not this box because it's locked. Um, I'm just gonna keep it locked because I don't wanna move it around and mess up anything else in the background. Okay, so here comes the fun part. So we're going to, obviously you can add your phone number, you can add your street address, but I'm not gonna do that for this video unless I just make up some number like this. Um, so you can add some more text by clicking 
T and then you can do, I don't know, five, 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 one, two, three, four. So that's the text box with the, uh, that's the text box for the phone number. Let's see, you can add your email address. So let's add the email address. Um, so you can duplicate this. Okay, another thing, if you haven't seen any of my videos, um, you won't know how to duplicate this. So if you want to duplicate this text box, instead of having to hit T and change the sizing around, um, you can just highlight the box that you wanna duplicate and you can hit the duplicate button right here or you can hit Command D if you're on a Mac or Control D if you are on a Windows PC. So I'm gonna do Control D. I'm gonna line it up using the pink lines and I'm going to put, I don't know, hello, hello at testemail.com. That's not my real email address. I don't even know if that's someone's real address, but we're just gonna go with it for this one. And then we're going to add the website. This is my actual website. Um, as, as I'm filming this video, let's see, doingdigitalwithmegan.com. Um, I don't have, I have like one blog post up and the layout is terrible because I haven't purchased a theme or really spent a lot of time on it. So don't judge me for that, but that really is my website. So if y'all want to go take a look at that, you can. And then we're going to do, we're going to add an address line. So one, two, three, Sunshine Street, anywhere, Florida, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So here's a good, so here's something else. So as you can see, the text in these boxes are all lined up to the left. Now, even if I lined this box up to the left using these pink lines, there is an indentation right here that I wanna get rid of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just click somewhere in here and hit Command A to select all the text, and I'm going to realign it. So if you tap this button once, it aligns it all to the left. So now everything is to the left. And now what we're gonna do, we're going to align these, um, these text boxes. So I'm going to tap in this, I'm gonna left click in this white space and I'm going to highlight all of these boxes. I'm gonna go up here to position. Oh, well, maybe not tidy up. All right, <laughs> so don't hit tidy up. So position, and we're going to space evenly vertically. So if it does something funky when you hit tidy up and you just want it spaced out vertically, then just hit vertically. So there's that. Now with this email signature template, they have little icons right here. So in order to find icons, it's actually pretty easy. I'm gonna spread this out a little more and tidy it up again. So position vertically. And now I'm going to find some little icons. So for this one, I would need an iPhone. Um, let's see, so you can choose from these options right here or you can just pick something like this. No, it's not bad. Uh, I actually don't like that. Um, let's see, what about, excuse me, I've got the hiccups now. Hate the hiccups. All right, so there's a phone. I really don't like any of these. What does she have over here? Okay, well, they have a phone too, so it's what it looks like it's gonna be. Okay, so we will just do the best we can with this little phone right here. All right, so phone goes right there. Let's see, we can do email. We can add this one. And we'll make it smaller. And then we can add 
this for the website, make it smaller too, and we'll drag it around. Actually, we still need to make it slightly smaller. Okay, that looks good. And then we will do home and we'll move this one around, make it bigger, smaller. Still needs to be a little smaller. So that is how you add those. I'm actually going to change the color of these to blue to match my brand colors. So that needs to be blue. That needs to be blue. Well, you can't change that one. With some of them, you can change them. With some of them, you can't. So for this, we'll keep it as, um, as black, but I prefer to use the dark blue since it's a brand color of mine. And... Then for this one, they put like the real estate logo right here and then links to social media. So what I'm going to do now is I created a logo for my YouTube channel and for my blog. So I'm going to find that and upload it and I will put that right here. Okay, so let's see if this is it. Okay, so here's my brand logo. I'm actually going to put it right here. And I'm going to add some social media links. right here underneath it. And we're gonna do the same thing as we did with this. So let's go to, let's see, she's got Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. Okay, I'm not on all five of those platforms. So I'm gonna just add the ones that I am on. So I'll go over here to elements. I'll type in Instagram. We'll pick this one. Yep, and we'll keep it black to go with the rest of these. And I'm actually gonna make it like the size of the other logo so it doesn't look super out of place. Okay, so there's Instagram, YouTube. I'll do this one because we can change the colors around on it. And I will make it put it right there and then I will add Pinterest because I am on there. So we'll do this one. And then I'll add Etsy. And I'll change that to black too. Okay, so now I'm going to arrange these to where I want them to be. So we're going to highlight these, position, tidy up, and there we go. I'm actually going to make these slightly smaller. Actually, I think this looks pretty good for... Someone who's just starting out like me. So that's a very quick email signature. Now I'm going to show you guys how to save this and upload it into Gmail so you can use it from there. It is slightly complicated, so bear with me, but we will go ahead and head over to Gmail.